Hi everyone, so um, in this video um, we're, I'm going to discuss Juan Sanchez Catan still life with quince, cabbage, melon and cucumber um, in terms of the mood and atmosphere, then the scale and then I'm going to talk to you about the influences upon the artist. Remember, um, I need you to take down for mood and atmosphere and for scale, I'll say a few things but, but I'd like you to note down two things, it's two things you'll need um, in your notes and then I'll say a little bit more about influences because that's a, that's a different part of the question. So for mood and atmosphere I think the first thing we can say about this painting is that it's a serious painting. It's not frivolous and fun, it's got a lot of black, it's got very very um, limited colour palette, um, it has not got a lot of dynamic energy it's very, very ordered. It's got all these horizontals and verticals. Um, and so there's a mood of seriousness and contemplation as well, I would say. Um, contemplation because each each object is painted so realistically that the artist has clearly studied them so closely. And as we know from the previous video, they were they were made, they were painted from individual studies. So Juan Sanchez Cotan has really, really studied these objects very, very closely. He was a very religious man. He, after he painted this, he went off to become a monk um, for the last 10 years of his life. And he, um, uh, he, uh, yeah, so th these are obviously project, like the, you know, natural objects are, are God's work, you know, they're created by God. And it strikes me that he was, um, you know, really contemplating the work of God in in the very, very close detail that he's uh, painted these with. Um, another thing we can say, this is, now mood, atmosphere, this is more like a kind of reading of the painting, a message of the painting, but the first fruit, the, the, the highest up one is the quince. <clears throat> and the quince is said to be, I know that we talk about the apple in the Garden of Eden, but it's also said to have been a quince. Um, I'm pretty sure in Spain, they talk about it as being a quince and this guy was Spanish. Um, and so the, the, this is the fruit from the Garden of Eden up high. And then after that, if you read the painting from left to right, everything then gradually descends in a kind of curve down to the ground. Um, and so some people say that this painting is about the fall of man because it was after eating the fruit in the Garden of Eden that the fall of man happened and that's when you know we realized that we were all naked and stopped living in the garden of eden and um original sin and all that so that is another reading that's another kind of religious reading of this painting that it's meant to be a kind of allegory or it's meant to be a you know a, some kind of visual metaphor for the fall of man um so that's three things about mood so we've like seriousness the contemplativeness and the the the, the reading of it as being about the fall of man. So in scale, if you look at those um, at that at the vocab, the SQA vocab list I gave you, scale is um, talks about scale within the painting, but also the size of the painting. So we're going to have a little look at what this painting would look like in a gallery. So the painting is about eighty-five centimeters across and about 69 centimetres up the way. And so it's painted with realistic proportions. And if you look here at the picture of somebody looking at the painting, you can see that the trompe l'oeil effect is really working. Remember, trompe l'oeil is French for trick of the eye. And it's the effect that makes you feel like you could reach into the painting because of the way that he's used light and shadow and because of the, the perspective in it and the cucumber sitting over the edge of the, uh, of the ledge that everything's sitting on. Um, so the scale of the painting is very much meant to replicate real life and is meant to um, help you in, help help reinforce the trompe l'oeil effect. When you answer the question about influences, this is this is actually part B of question one. So it's just, it's a kind of slightly different question, and it's for five marks. And what you're asked to do is. It, to identify two influences on the artist and explain them. So one influence, and then you would explain it with reference to with one reference to the work, and then the second influence, you explain it 
but with two references to the work, two, two kind of explanations, and altogether that gives you five marks. I hope that makes sense. We'll discuss this in class. <clears throat> the first thing to say about Juan Sanchez Cotan is that religion played a very strong part in his life. Um, and as I said, he went away to become a monk um, the year after he completed this painting. And then he renounced all his possessions, you know, took vows of poverty and lived that way for the, the last 10 years of his life. So he was clearly very serious about it. Um, and uh, the way that we can see this represented in the work is, like I said before, the, the allegory of the fall of man, the, the, the use of the quince. And then this description, you know, the visual description of the fall after that. Um, and like I said before as well, the kind of contemplation he gave, the kind of, the amount of, uh, you know, the, the high detail of study in these fruits where he's he's treating, you know, God's work with such respect is the way that I see that. Um, another influence on Cotan, but in this, and a couple of other of his bodygone or still life setups of his compositions, where just Spanish life at the time, this is a hot country, um, where before you had things like fridges, and so fruits and natural produce would obviously rot a lot faster. So people used to hang them up, and that would delay the rotting process. So apart from any sort of visual reasons, and obviously to tell the story, to create this, this curve and this, this fall, this descent of man, um, uh, also, this is just him. This is just the way that people would would keep fruit and veg in the house. They would keep them, you know, in recesses away from the light, and hang them up to stop them rotting as fast. So the Spanish way of life is an influence in his in his use of composition. This is a painting by Blas del Prado, and uh, Juan Sanchez Catan was a student of his, so he learned from this guy. So you can see that he's got the realistic style, he's got um, a, a Baroque, a kind of Baroque style, he's got, you know, there's there's a high contrast, high tonal contrast going on in here. And also the choice of subject matter is this body gone, uh, the, the kind of the, fill life, the still life made up of fruits um, with a high level of detail. So that these are the things that Juan Sanchez Cotan seems to have taken from Blasto Prado. So that's that's another influence. 